G'day guys, in today's video I just wanted to show you how I use Hydroton as a growing medium to grow this spinach. Now because of the cost of Hydroton I usually buy it online. Now I prefer to buy things locally, always. However, in this particular case the costs are just too extreme when you do buy it locally. So I buy it online, I usually get it on eBay. And uh, look, I, I don't find any problems as far as uh, couriers go or anything like that, but I always buy local when I can. One of the major benefits of using Hydroton is it's, it's very lightweight. It's a clay, natural clay pellet. Um, it is man-made, however, it's very lightweight and it's, it really does work well in an aquaponics system. As you can see, all the spinach behind me here is growing uh, using that method and it grows quite well. It's also an inert material, which means it won't break down. It's, it's pH neutral. So it's got all the same benefits as, as um, Scoria does. However, it is a little bit more expensive, uh, but the weight is, is so light. So it's really great to use such a material uh, for this application. And this particular Hydroton uh, that I've got here behind me, uh, it's expanded clay pebbles, and I've got 50 litres here, or 13 gallons. And uh, these bags, um, look, they're heavy enough to, to ship around, but um, you just got to clean them. There's a lot of dust in there, and they just have to be cleaned before you use them. Otherwise, all your tanks are going to go red, just like you, they would if you use Scoria. So let's clean this gravel, and let's, um, let's see what the Hydroton produces as far as dust is concerned. I'm just going to tip it all into the bin and wash it accordingly, just to get the dust off. Just want to make sure I don't put any in. See how much dust is coming off just by pouring it into the bin. So it's just a matter of rinsing it off. Just give it a quick rinse. All the dust will stay in the bin, and the rest of it I'll put straight into my system. Now, because I'm putting these hydro clay balls or pellets. In water, I have to move it around a little bit. By the washing machine, just to get it more buoyant. Clean it off. It is very buoyant for me. Um, got to clean it off. Got to really give it a soak. Gets rid of all the loose particles and things like that are in there. That's a surprise. Um, it should all be broken up, but occasionally you get bits and pieces like that. Look, I'm just going to throw that. That's no good to me. This stuff actually floats. The more you put in there, the more it's just gonna fill up, which is fantastic. Um, look, at it actually floats. That's how light it is. As opposed to Scoria or any other medium, which is quite heavy, uh, this stuff floats. I, I just use a bucket. I've got a special bucket with holes in it and I just tip it straight in. It's already got water in the tank, but it just fills the system, as you can see. It's, all, it's nowhere near full. Um, I calculate around 200 litres of uh, this Hydroton. And uh, each, each one of these parcels is only 50 litres. So in theory, <laughs> I've got four to go. And as you'll see up the top here, um, now I've put in two bags already, 50 litre bags. Now it seems to be over the top, but, but really, it's only 10 centimetres into my grow bed. Ideally, I would have a dry grow bed when you fill this up. But um, in this case, I already had water in there, so I'm just, I'll just show you that. Look, you can see that it's probably only a 10 centimetre, 10 centimetre layer. But as, as these pellets absorb the water, you'll be able to fit more and more and more. So what I'm gonna do is just heap it up and in the morning, I'll, um, I'll add some more. Just to show you now too, the uh, clay balls overnight, they've settled down. And as you can see, they've become more waterlogged. And I'll just keep pushing them down and I'll throw another bag in hopefully later this afternoon. But um, there's still a good gap, probably half. I put three bags in, so 150 litres already. Uh, I'm expecting that I need another two bags. Uh, once these are waterlogged, I'll be able to fit them in. 
Okay, so if I was to press down into it, you can see, you can see that it is waterlogged, although it still floats. So it's not 100% waterlogged, but there is quite a lot of materials in here. And underneath, if I, if I put my hand right to the bottom, there's actually a large gap in there. Um, so it is uh, floating. That's about 40 centimeters, the, the above bed, the fiberglass tank that I've got on top here. It's about 40 centimeters, so there's a, it's a good portion of that, probably half of that, where it's just floating above and it's just water free flowing underneath. Now, if I was to put more in there, it would suppress it down further and um but it's very costly to do so, so and there's no need there's just no need to do that because everything's growing quite well as you can see hey i really appreciate you watching and i'd like to know what you thought of this video so feel free to write in the chat box below and if you're new to this channel and you'd like to know more then hit that subscribe button and if you wouldn't mind give me a good old thumbs up so i know i'm on the right track and just to also let you know too that i do have a private facebook group and I go in there live every week and I answer questions from the chat as well. So feel free to join that as well and I'll put it in the, in the comment section below.